I wanted a plane that I could launch from a kayak, jet ski, or a small boat, and that could land in calm water or uh, large waves, and also needed it to be easy to waterproof and easy to uh, stow, and the Easy Star met both of these requirements. Another nice feature of the Easy Star is that the wings come off so you can take it on a small boat such as a jet ski or a kayak. Waterproofing the Easy Star was simple. I used silicone glue to glue on the cockpit. Then I used a razor blade to put a 45 degree cut to make a smaller uh, hatch. And I used tape to make a hinge in the front. You then seal up all the holes where the wires come into the cockpit. And then finally I put water in it and found out that this plane had leaks along the seam. And this is about a five year old plane that's had hundreds of um, landings and the glue had cracked and I, so you have to seal up um, any of those that you have in there. Even with the cockpit waterproof, the body in this plane is hollow and water can get into the holes near the motor. So I put a couple of drain holes for the water to be able to exit the aircraft. For the servo compartments, I also siliconed where the uh, wires go into the cockpit. So if the, ser if the servo compartments flood, they won't flood the cockpit and vice versa. Then I took a, um, a food container with that made out of clear plastic and I cut a square and I siliconed it. And you have to be sure to get silicone all around the white tube here. Um, sometimes when I fly the plane, you can see that the windows fog up. So I cut a hole in here to let the uh, humidity out. I don't get water in there, but there's obviously some water vapor. And then just before flight, I'll cover the hole with a, a piece of tape. For this plane, to keep the cables from rusting, I put Vaseline along the entire length of the cable and then slid this smaller tube over it. Another strategy might be to um, seal this end of the cable and have the uh, servo move the smaller tube inside the larger tube. The speed control is very sensitive to water and can even fail if subjected to high humidity, so I sealed both ends with silicone glue. If the brushless motor gets wet, I've run it for about two to three minutes afterwards in order to dry out the bearings. Um, and if you fly this in the ocean, I'd recommend um, as soon as possible flushing it with the fresh water and then running it to dry the bearings. Calm wa uh, water, you can land this plane without it uh, becoming wet or without the motor becoming wet. But it is waterproof enough that you can completely submerge the plane underwater and uh, it won't have any leaks, but of course I would not recommend this.